Right. We have an August here speaking to all the members of the Kriegsmarine clan who might be interested in playing World of Tanks. So today, in the inauguration video of Ask Herr Oberst, for those of you that have any questions about tanks, or any questions about the game of World of Tanks, here we are. And today, as an example of the kind of questions you might have on your mind, we will be talking today about a tier 5 German tank destroyer. <clears throat> and this tank is known as a Flak Panzer 4C. Here it is, right here. And this tank was originally designed as a mobile anti aircraft gun unit but it was also pressed into service as a tank destroyer. In real life, the panels on the side and on the rear would fold down, and the gun would have a, three, uh, would have a 360 degree traverse. However, World of Tanks failed to put this in, into the game. So what we have is a very limited traverse of the gun. Angles of fire to the front. All right. So anyway, one of the things about this tank is that it comes with three very different guns. Starts out with a 75 millimeter gun. Works its way up to the gun that you currently see on the tank now, which is uh, an 88 L56. And then the final gun <clears throat> is a tier eight gun, and it's an 88 millimeter. Here it is here, the L74. Now there's the 75, that's how the tank is when you first unlock it. And the thing here is, what I'm trying to get across to everybody, is that sometimes, most of the time in the game, getting the best equipment on the tank is a good thing. Now there's the tier eight gun. And most people go for this simply because of the stats on paper. However, this is one of those tanks where Wargaming is throwing you a, a, a curveball. And realistic, realistically, you don't want this tier eight gun. And I'm going to show you why. Now everything else that you see, the radio, always a good thing to get the best radio, get the best engine, upgrade your suspension. You have to do that in order to put a lot of the upgrades on the vehicle. <clears throat> so suspension is usually the first thing you go for. But here I'm going to show you the stats on each of the guns. And as you can see, their rates of fire are different. Penetration with standard AP shells, premium AP shells, and then HE shells is different. And of course the damage they do is different. So, other things are dispersion. You'll notice that the top gun does not have as much of a dispersion at 100 meters as the other two guns. Aiming time, you'll notice also with each gun, gets a little bit longer. Uh, the big thing is weight, and that's something you need to look at too, because weight will affect your power to weight ratio on your tank. However, that being said, most of the time, you're gonna want the best, the biggest gun you can get. But this tank is one of those tanks where really you don't want to go for the big gun. And the primary reason doesn't show up on those stats there. Where it shows up 
is that the stats to the side, if you notice the right side of the screen here, you've got firepower. And if you go down to where it has gun traverse limits, you'll see that the gun will only traverse side to side five degrees. That's it. What makes this bad is for a TD, in order to keep your camo rating low, you've got to stay immobile. If you move your tank just a little bit to try and uh, keep an enemy vehicle in target, in your reticle, you'll break your cover. That's terrible, especially for this tank, because it has no armor. One HE round from a Sherman with a 105 will obliterate this tank. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, allergies. So, while this gun looks great, the traverse really hurts it because you're constantly having to move your tank. If you've got an enemy vehicle moving across your field of vision, you know, 90 degree angle from you or or any kind of angle where they're moving across your your field of view, it's gonna be hard to keep them in your sight. And on top of that, as you're moving your tank, that also ruins the uh, reticle bloom. It will go way out, meaning that the shots can go anywhere, but hitting the target unless you're very lucky so that means this gun is very situational you're gonna want to shoot at targets that are either coming straight at you or close to straight at you or targets that are motionless that are not moving then this gun is fantastic but in the game, most of the time, especially smart players with medium tanks are going to be constantly moving, changing direction. And once they know where you are, they're going to do their best to get around you, get behind you, and destroy you. Now here I'm figuring out, do I want to put premium rounds in the gun? Really you don't need to. This is a tier 8 gun in a, five, a tier 5 tank. So, I mean... The standard rounds are going to pen any tank that this tank meets, even tier 7s. So that's the one good thing about the gun. You don't need to put any premium rounds in it. But let's take it into battle. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. good map for this tank but yeah this is just one of those tanks there are, there are a couple of them in the game where wargaming entices <coughs> wow excuse me again where wargaming entices you to put this big gun on it but then they've got balancing so, limits to the gun that really make it ineffective. As you can see here, you see that that's as far as that gun can traverse to either side. That's it. So what I'm gonna do here, if I can get around these idiots, is I'm gonna take up a position where I know that any enemy tanks I see are gonna pretty much have to be coming right at me. thing about this vehicle is it <coughs> has very good <coughs> mobility. It's a quick tank. So as you can see, I was a little late to go after that guy, but now I'm watching this area here because this is where the heavies... This area here is usually heavy, heavily contested by heavy tanks, okay? Support my buddies. I aimed a little high there. 
敵車両の離体に命中確認敵車両に命中しました敵車両の離体にダメージを与えました資料撃破次の目標へ向かいましょう。
敵車両沈黙周囲を警戒しつつ移動を Just to make sure that your tank can、uh, deal with、uh, the situation and you can support your team properly. However, for this game, I'm top dog. So I shouldn't need to use a single premium round in this game. Period.
敵車両に砲弾直撃一両撃破次の目標へ向かいましょう目標を視界内に確認了解再度作撃を急ぎます遺体に被弾した模様です目標を補足敵車両を撃破しました。目標を視界に撃破確認上出来です目標を補足敵車両を入手内に発しました警戒を強めましょう
decide it's better to have him try and come to me. At first I park here, but I realize that if he's a good arty player, this would be the spot he'd expect me to be in. So I decided to go for it just a second. most of your targets, you can use the standard rounds. And do well. So, hopefully the 